one win, two losses. New names to Strasbourg this season. Marcus Keane has come from Parisi. Junior Beat of Cameroon signed from Orléans. Buddy Amassa from Fuss after six seasons there. And Maxim Ilvovsky from Vitra. Also, Jamar Sanders has signed from Dortona. Stan Okoye, Nigerian international and Afro basket winner, signs from Zaragoza. Falcos run to the last 16 last season, their best ever Champions League run, the best ever European run, but did finish bottom of their last 16 group. It was four groups of four, you'll remember for that. They retained the league title, but were beaten in the cup quarterfinals. So 2021 remains their only cup success. It's Falco, Chambatelli's fourth season in the Basketball Champions League. They've conceded more than 80 points in each of their four games against French teams in this competition, winning only just the once. Milos Konakov is the coach, having come in last season for Gaspar Ocorn. Lovely venue this, the Arena Sport Arena, 6,200, Lassie Tovi, the Finn, back in charge for another campaign of Six Strasbourg. His fifth season in charge. This is not the Strasbourg team. Or at least I don't think it is. Keep thinking, let it go. Anyway, Six Strasbourg, who Finished seventh and went out in the quarterfinals of the LMB last season. Lucas Beaufort wearing number two for them, the 20 year old guard. Now we see the first of their new signings. Marcus Keane has come from Beresi. He has been around, was in Thailand for a little bit with a vampire club. It, was a, it went well, but ended up being a bit of a pain in the neck. Leopold Cavalier, three seasons here now. And just fresh out of the 3x3 three three World Cup run, 3x3 run, where they went all the way to the semi-finals runs. Junior Bede has come from Orléans. DeAndre Lansdowne, the club captain now here for his third season, having come from Brescia. Body of Massa, who signed from Foss from Marseille. Matt Mitchell, now his second season here after signing from San Diego State. Elian Petrius, 17-year-old, did a good run with France at under-16 level last year. Michael Bell is not in the matchday squad, the Great Britain international. Maxim Ilvovsky, we've seen come through, who's signed from Vitre. Jamar Sanders here, who's signed from Dartona, from Illinois. Sean Baptiste Mai. And from Nigeria. Signed from Zaragoza, Stan Okoye. So a good Strasbourg squad. They will feel that they've strengthened. They finished third in the league in 2021. But last season, it was quarterfinals in the playoffs where they bowed out. They reached the cup final, beaten in that by Poe Ortez. Referees tonight, Manuel Mazzoni from Italy, Erez Gurion from Israel, and Offer Mannheim, also of Israel. So good evening from Will Downing. On the all-time chart, it's 2-0 in favour of Sieg Strasbourg. 
And tonight, the starting five for Falco, Zach Brown, Matthew Tybee, Akos Keller, Stefan Pott, and Raymond Cowles. The man who's come from Legia Warsaw, the Polish champions. Good to see them in the Champions League this season. Milos Konakov is the man in charge. Six Strasbourg, one and two today in the new French LNB Ligue Nationale basketball season. They're standing five, Marcus Keane, Body and Massa, Matt Mitchell, Jamar Sanders, and Stan Okoye. All but Mitchell are new signings. Body and Massa yet to pose for a snapshot. Lassi Tovi, now in his fifth season here, his third as the first team coach. Finland assistant across many years as well. Now, for some reason, for very many years, music by John Miles has been massively associated with French sport. It's used as a football theme, and here in Strasbourg, it's a basketball theme. It is a good track. You will start on King. Okay, I want pressure, I want to be smart, what he wants, you know, if he can roll out more than that. And King, you are in red, and this great situation, you are in the switch. Okay, Ray, you will start on Sanders. A good win last night for Mercia, who really hotted up in the end for the Spanish side against Tofas of Bersa. Two meetings previously, finishing 98-86 here, and 85-63 in Hungary. Sultan Pell with that total of 305 off the bench since his basketball Champions League debut three seasons ago. The most among all players coming from the bench in that period. And he scored more than 20 points in each of his two games against Six Strasbourg last season. But they lost both. Well set up. Lovely venue. Approaching 8 p.m. Central European summertime. Strasbourg are in blue tonight, despite red being their regular colour. Keen Massa, Mitchell, Sanders, and Okoye on court for Strasbourg. Brown, Tybee, Keller. Pot and Cowles for Falco of Sean Bitelli. <laughs> Always love doing games in France. Always very, very atmospheric. Tonight will not be. A difference. 
So the third ever meeting between these two, and Falco definitely owes Strasbourg one or two after last season's defeats in the round of 16 groups. So it's short for Stan Okoye and Jamar Sanders, who's just come from Dortonos, but he's pinged around Europe quite a lot early, attempted three, not a bad try either, just wouldn't drop. Keller had lost the ball originally, a decent try from a good distance out. It was Marcus Keane who missed the original three-point try, and that one rebounded away as well. Straight into the hands of Massa. Here's Mitchell again. Keane. Keane still going. Inside the paint. Went to work well. That's the up now for Marcus Keane. His first European points for Strasbourg. Had been with the Memphis Hustle, with Eggis as well, from most of Dreamers previously. Quite a few have turned up at Formosa. Kenneth Cramo in Estonia. Where they try for three, just rebounded away for Akos Keller, but it just stopped out of his hands as well. Good regular scorer last season for Falco in the Basketball Champions League. The original layup missed by Matt Tybee, the three point jump shot missed by Zach Brown. So, minimum of a 12 point difference in both games last season as the attempt will come in by Matt Mitchell and Keller commits the first foul of the night. Akos Keller in his third season since moving south from Schlonsvotsov. Five, no, now six league titles and five cups to his name across various countries. But Matt Mitchell is the man who's running the biggest headlines right now. That's the first of the night for him. Ooh, missed the second one though. Slight let off for Falco Schombatelli. Stefan Pott, the man who's come from Colossus of Rhodes. Pott again. Almost passed to himself. Chance from outside. Tybee, that wouldn't drop. It's just come from Belgian basketball and Antwerp Giants. Pott again. Little look around. That'll do it. Stefan Pott scores. And Falco get their first points on the board tonight. Very successful at underage level for Serbia. Runner up in the under 19 World Cup in 2013. Bronzes in under 18 and under 20 European Championships for the last 10 years. And that's put away by Marcus Keane again. And Keane, he definitely is. Three point lead. 4 6 Strasbourg straight away. Nice little layoff by Keller for Pot. Little pot shot from Stefan, and it was good. Falco just staying a single point away. Jamar Sanders, he certainly has been around the season in Turkey with Gaziantep. Dortona for the last two, Trieste gone for a season. Jump shot missed from Matt Mitchell. Came a year ago from San Diego State after four years there. His first professional contract. There's a little pop by Potts, but it didn't work out. Up and down already. Massa. Good setup. Here's Keane. He's not missed yet. Marcus Keane gets his third field goal of the night. And he scored all but one point for Strasbourg early on. Shot by Akos Keller again. Nice, lively opening. Can this be our first three-pointer? Oh, yes, it can. Put away by Akos Keller. Back home after a spell in Poland with Slobs Roswell. Level for the first time. And now Jean Metelli are ahead for the first time. Super dunk. 
put home by Zach Brown, set up by Tyvee. Falco in front. Well, apart from a couple of early misses here and there, this has got the makings of a very good contest. Brown all the way through, and thank you very much. Falco in front. They meet on the following night as well. Oh, bingo by Keane. What a night he's having already in this opening quarter. Nine points for him. And we're not even halfway through the first quarter yet. Well, if we're lucky, this may be even half as good as Fia Friga against Benfica last night. Already with the toing and throwing and the scoring, it feels a little bit reminiscent of that. Stefan Pott was make his way through. Managed to restart from the baseline. Jamar Sanders is off and on is Jean Baptiste Maye. Chance for three, didn't drop properly. Good attempt by Raymond Cowles, who's just signed from Legia Warsaw. Now it's Keane. Keane make his way up. Cleverly inside the paint, trying to work a three-point opening, potentially. Stanakoye, Keen, trying to avoid trouble. Going to have to go long. Didn't have a lot of time to readjust his radar. Foul called in the middle of it all. Strasbourg attacking well. Howells with his first foul of the night. He really has been around. Played in New Zealand for the Canterbury Rams. And just watching on as Matt Mitchell rams one home. That's his first field goal of the night. He's up to three. Three-point lead for Strasbourg. Nice entertainment early on. Little bounce off Matthew Tybee. Milwaukee Panthers, he came through. Spent a good bit of time in uh, Belgium and also in Germany. Gießen 46ers, Beirut as well. That's Beirut in Germany. Not a similar sounding place. Massa's first foul of the night. Howells drawing the foul. So Massa off for the moment. He's got the defensive rebound anyway. It's Raymond Cowles again, the Chicagoite. Good tee up put away by Boris Balac from Croatia and fouled along the way as well. Barrett's just in, along with Zoltan Pearl for Tybee and Brown. Barrett scores, and a chance coming from the free throw line as well. Fouled by Matt Mitchell, lovely setup. Put it in, Mitchell fouling along the way. Didn't stop the basket. Barrett's going again, 15 points against Ayak last season. But he couldn't add a third and make it a three point play. Kunikov in his first frontline job, and now a three time league winner. Marcus Keane again. Decent attempt by Keane, but just couldn't quite put that one away. Well rebounded for uh, Salton Powell, player of the year in 2019. Three times the league winner here after re-signing from Estudiantes. Foul call, looked to be by Jean-Baptiste Meyer. Matt Mitchell back to the touchline for now. Myers 
First foul of the night. Three already against Strasbourg. Have to watch out. Zoltan Pell. Inside the paint, opportunities for Krivacevic. You know, wouldn't drop. Way by Jean Baptiste Maia again. Trying to get their options open. That was a smart one. As Cavalier had made his way in and was very well found too. Krivacevic committing the foul. Just as Cavalier was attempting, and yep, that, that comes under the definition of a foul, no doubt about that. Just signed from Egis Cormens. Quite a few underage European champions for Hungary. As off will go Raymond Cowles for now. Benedek Kovac on. So Cavalier from the free throw line, and that'll be the first of them. Oh, not quite two out of two, but a rebound and well towards Junior and Bina, reclaimed by Cavalier. Chance for three, almost came. Almost well delivered. So close. Quick reclaim, quick thinking and Bina. Long for Stanakoye. Chance for three from the corner. Wouldn't quite. Go home, decent attempt by Lansdowne it was. Back towards Akoya again. Stood firm. Akoya and Lansdowne missing three point attempts. Baric has his first foul of the night. And that's four against Falco Schombatelli. And they'll be punished on the free throw line all the way from here in the first quarter. Koi with his first of the night. Fourteenth Strasbourg are right now in the LNB after three rounds. Koi two from two. That is the largest lead of the night so far. They've four-point lead. Beat Nolte the weekend here, 79-69, lost to Dijon away by eight, lost the weight to Poe by three. 83 to 80 in their opener. And in Dijon, 100 points to 92. Powell with his first score of the night. Falco keeping in touch. down and he gets his first score of the night four point lead opportunities for Pearl oh yes score for score right now Zoltan Pearl has netted four Sean Batelli have used up all their fouls on by Jean Baptiste Maier Pointing the way forward. Bailey might not have got that. And he didn't. Taken in again by uh, Zach Brown. Back for Zoltan Pell. from outside for three by Benedict Kovac. No joy for him there. Another break coming through. My. And then finally Lansdowne halted. And it was, it was Kovac in an offending mode. Arm out. Kovac commits the foul. That'll be punished from the free throw line. And Kovac is first of the night. Five fouls against Falco now. 
First is good from Landstad. Andre Lansdown gets them both up to four points tonight. From Albuquerque, New Mexico. Almost a quick steal away by Zoltan Pearl. Quickly recycled by Krivacevic. Now it's Zoltan Pearl again. Pearl thought about a three. It's going to have to come now. The shot did, the points didn't. Rebound taken up by Sean Baptiste by again, and looking for a bit of calm. Here's the Champions League semi-final with Strasbourg two seasons ago, and they were edged out by Burgos by 11. Cavalier, no! Cavalier and able to put it away. That's a let-off for Falco. Fourteen seconds left in the first quarter. And McCoy can take his position back in his perch. Foul on Sultan Pearl. And McCoy with his first foul tonight. So Strasbourg will be punished from here on in, though not much time for that to happen. Tomas Sanders is in for Stan McCoy. Stan the man. Fourteen seconds to go. Rapalco to do something to cut down that slight lead. And it's Pearl doing a lot about it, wouldn't go home. And that will be a six Strasbourg ball. Good job by Six Strasbourg so far end of the first quarter. Six Strasbourg 19, Falco Chambatelli 15. Both quite constant in terms of the two point and three point attempts. Chambatelli have had one more. Best plays of the first half, a lot of the early ones coming through. Marcus Keane scored nine points in that first quarter. It was a great run of very early scoring from him to keep Strasbourg out in front for a good while. Falco and nibbling back every so often. Stefan Pott with four points, but Keane was not to be denied. Time on time. Very impressive uh, first half display. Lovely dunk that was all the way through from Zach Brown, his only score so far. Really enjoyed that. Keane really enjoyed that. His three pointer to boost him up to nine. Mitchell beneath the basket, having his moments of fun too. And how about that? A little slip back by Keller and Barrett away and in. Cowles with the original vision. No look pass from Keller. And Pearl wrapping up his first quarter contributions too. Good, enjoyable. Entertaining, frenetic contest so far. So Coax to get us to resume in this second quarter. Falco behind by four going into it. Matthew Tybee. Oh. May have to stay back to help out Pearl. 
wasn't a bad try, but off the rim and reclaimed by Leo Cavalier. Against Strasbourg, roaming forward again, Jean-Baptiste Mai. Well claimed by DeAndre Lansdowne. On he comes. Lansdowne stopped well by Zoltan Pearl, but somehow reclaimed, somehow lost. They might be punished for it as well, Falco. Oh, they have been in the most tremendous fashion possible. Jamar Sanders gets a three. Strasbourg lead by seven. Their biggest lead so far. Sanders almost did it again. Handy little touch to flick away, a fingernail. Strasbourg seven up, not any longer there won't be. In by Boris Barrich. Double the score for the night, up to four. Falco now five behind. Quick thinking, quick hands. DeAndre Lansdowne, the man from Albuquerque. Hot dog! He scored again, up to six. Tight angle, so tight it's come off the side of the backboard and given Strasbourg an opening for another one. Taken very well by Mai. And a foul as well along the way. They lead by nine. Timeout call. And right now, Falco need it. Great glide through by my. I'm not actually sure a foul was called, but the two points punishment enough for Falco for now to make it a nine point game. And that is first score of the night, and how well he made it work. little going wrong for very, very much going wrong for Milos Konakov for the moment very little going wrong for Strasbourg Matt Mitchell, Massa, Keane all in for Mai, Mbida, Cavalier pot in for Kovac from a Falco point of view looking to rattle up a few scores now Zach Brown aiming to start that in these early knockings of the second quarter Marcus Keane bundled over, Sanders with the foul. That is first. In by Zach Brown for the first. Well, two out of two, that's tidy enough for now. on by Marcus Keane and Matt Mitchell. Keane tried to get it through, but Tooney men around and Pot claiming it, not cleaning up though. Barrage. Salton Pearl, chance for three, taken this time very well by Boris Baric, he's up to seven points tonight, makes it a four-point game again. And that was definitely a lot more like it from a Falco point of view, who have scored five points without reply. Strats are calling the timeout. I need a cutter, I need a cutter. Yeah, I need a cutter. 
So four point advantage for Strasbourg. Sorry for the poor choice of phrasing from the coach. A few bad words say, here's Sandu, short for DeAndre Lansdowne. Lansdowne trying it, that's around three range, didn't quite drop first time, maybe another time. Keane is up there again and it still won't go in. Excellent defense for Falco. Barrett with a chance to bring it away. Here's Stefan Pott. Pot with the layup, set up for Pearl, who scores. Zoltan Pearl makes it a two-point game now. The Falco comeback continues in the second quarter. They were never really that far behind. But they also didn't want the circumstances we saw on Monday night where a slightly significant gap opened up and just didn't close up. A bobble and a hobble, but a wooden drop. Would have doubled Strasbourg's lead. No luck for Massa that time. Well, at the moment, it's 39% success rate in shooting from six Strasbourg, nine out of 23. Falco's 40%, 10 out of 25, which is a bit more like it, but they still trail. Stefan Potts inside neatly, nicely picked out Salt and Pearl, all six foot five of them, one meter 95. Short by Mai, longer try coming from outside by Matt Mitchell. It just wouldn't drop. All started from Massa's defensive rebound. Then his foul. His second of the night. Two fouls against uh, Strasbourg in the second quarter. Falco with a clean slate so far. Raymond Cowles is in for Zach Brown. Leo Cavalier for Body and Massa. So short for Raymond Cowles. And it was Sanders coming in. Sanders whistled up. Second foul called against him. Tried to flick at the ball and, well, Cowles didn't take to it. Here's Pearl. Pearl for Potts, he was inside his space. That's a nice little tidy finish by Matthew Tyvey. The new signing from Antwerp Giants. And it is all square, 26 all. Only the second time since scoring began that the sides are level. It is nine points without reply so far and that long spell of time that Strasbourg have gone without scoring. Coming through with Zoltan Pearl, fouled by Leo Cavalier. They've used up all the fouls already in this quarter. Cavalier's... First foul. Mitchell out, Junior and Bida on. Resuming with Stefan Potts. 
Short for Akos Keller. Now, Tybee. Oh, lovely! Matt Tybee with three, and Falco have their biggest lead of the night. Tybee with a three, Strasbourg with a timeout. They're in a spot of bother now. A couple of quick three pointers for Falco, having them in front. 12 points without reply. Lassie Tovey is a little bit livid right now. It was a tremendous three-pointer by Matt Tybic. Set up by Pod, good assist. How about that? Nailed it brilliantly from the corner. And Lassie Tovey's team talks not quite die-hard level. We'll still apologise for any bad words you might have heard that caused offence. I know people ask why we do. Well, we have to. It's broadcasting rules in various countries, and that's the way it is. Keane. Found a way past Cowell. Set up. My well! Oh, brilliant! That's a tremendous three to tie up the game. Jean Baptiste May. We're level for the third time in the game, and it's. A trio of three pointers each. Strasbourg were just coming away. Pearl missing the two pointer. And Cavalier has had the foul called against him, a second foul. Yeah, just the shot was coming in, and on the rebound, with his arms wrapped around Tybee. In the paint, second foul against Cavalier. Strasbourg have used all their fouls up. So it's Tybee. Scores the first. Falco ahead again. It's looking like a good bubbling up contest. Zach Brown is in for Zoltan Pell for the moment. Matt Tybee going again. Matt Tybee scoring again. Two point lead. Good two point lead. And Cavalier off for the moment. Keen making good progress, but Brown. Zach Brown coming just a bit too close. The recent signing from Hamburg Towers in the basketball Bundesliga. Hacken for Mai. Zach Brown's first foul of the night. Almost intercepting, which would have been very timely. Schatzberg are really making a lot of heavy weather of it. Eventually, Junior and Peter below the basket drawing the foul. Falco have got a few to play with, just coming in the wrong places. So, Keller with his second foul, coming on Junior and Bida. From the free throw line. Oh, he's missed that. Got the second one anyway. Junior and beat his first score of the night. In 
for Stefan Port Falco. So impressive during this second quarter in terms of their scoring. Keller in at the sharp end and giving it away. He's not happy with it. He wants a timeout called as well. Uh, that's Keller's third foul, incidentally. He felt that was a cheap one. Coming in. And then the momentum carrying him through. But the foul has been called against him. And John Vitelli are up to three fouls very quickly. He didn't appreciate that decision at all. So Jean-Baptiste Maé, Strasbourg behind by one. They've not been scoring heavily in this quarter at all. They've scored 11, while it's 16 for Falco. Jean Battelli wriggled through to Stefan Pot. The quick break is on. Could have gone all the way through. Here's Zach Brown. Chances for three. Pot's coming out again. 12 seconds of counting on the shot clock. by Pot, that a three-point try from Raymond Cowles and fouled along the way. The steal by Pot. So from the free throw line, Cowles for his first tonight and he's got it. Foul against the Andre Lansdowne, that's his first three free throws it is. And this is the third. He's got them all. Four point advantage. Pretty much their biggest tonight. 13 point turnaround from what we saw earlier in this quarter. Falco have been impressive. Nice bucket from Matt Mitchell. It's up to five points tonight. Useful. Strasbourg staying in touch. Stefan Potts has support from Krivacevic in the middle. Zach Brown bringing it through. Now Stefan Pot. No joy for the three. And here comes Strasbourg again. Mitchell gliding through. Fantastic from Matt Mitchell. And Strasbourg are back on terms at 34. 34. They found their scoring range again. Not a moment too soon. Well, Mitchell's gliding through and scoring just before the timeout, feeling that Milos Konakov has had to make some sort of action. Oh, 
all square again at 34 apiece. Level for the fourth time since scoring began. 7 all, 26 all, 29 all, 34 34. With Marko Kovacevic, short for Zoltan Pell. Pell just coming in, but Marko Kovacevic is the one with the foul. And that is his second of the night, and he can take a bench for the moment. Unfortunate turnover because Pell was looking to do things from there. Strasbourg possession, 2-12 to half time. It's with Sean Baptiste May. One of the survivors from the great run to the semi-final of the Basketball Champions League a couple of years ago when Gorgos beat them 70 points to 81. Out for Tybee. A little step from Potts. Eight seconds left in the shot clock. This is going to happen, has to be now, and it is from Boris Baraj. Nine points for Boris Baraj. Falco back in front again. 98 seconds to half time. 20 points outside the paint then. That one very much outside, attempted by Mai, but not dropping. Falco with a chance to bring it through. And a shove by Mbida, and that's his first foul of the night. Salzburg having used up all their fouls a long time ago. Falco have just used up all of theirs. Everything going to the line from here on in. So it's Boris Baric. This will be the first man to hit double figures tonight. Does it with the first. Three point advantage then, and Barrett again. That'll do nicely. 11 for the night, and Falco with the four point lead. Marcus Keane biding his time. Clock running down, going his own way, and why not? Here's where the highway, Marcus Keane, downtown, and then some. One point between Pell, got inside and scored, Stefan Pell. Making it a three point game again. 40 to 37, and then Key gliding in and then sliding out. Helped along the way, I'm sure, by, I think it was Stefan Pott. It just came off Pott and then zipped past Zoltan Pell. It was Zoltan Pell who scored the last one. Um, not the amalgamation of him and uh, Pott. Good score previously by Zoltan Pearl from the free throw line. Keane misses, Pot with his uh, first foul of the night, by the way. So Keane again. He's got a couple of three pointers tonight. That will do. He's on 13 points now. Couple of scores to keep Strasbourg well in touch. Here's Stefan Pot. Pearl, little glance. Six seconds to go. Big steal. Mitchell to come away. And they can wind the clock down a bit from here. And they will. Here's Marcus Keane. Great chance to be ahead at half time. Keane switching it inside, or at least be level at half time. It's not being taken, and Falco are in front of the break. 
Three big chances, three touches, three misses. Half time, Sig Strasbourg 38, Darko Shambatani 40. What a remarkable way for that first half to end. Layup missed by Stanakoye. He had the rebound, missed the layup, and Peter the same. Sombatelli, much better in terms of the two point plays. Shazberg rebounding slightly better at the moment. It's Falco who lead by two at half time. Keen top scoring with 13, Mitchell seven, Lansdowne six. Falco with a bit more strength in depth, Barrett 11, Pearl 8, Tybee 7. Best plays in the first half from the Arenas Sport and a lot of the earliest ones coming from Marcus Keane. Scored nine points in that first quarter. Got nine of Strasbourg's first ten points. Tybee with the setup and that was nice good duck from Zach Brown that got a lot of the early cobwebs out Keen having a glance his one and only three pointer in the first quarter Mitchell then the first outside of Keen to get a, a field goal of any description tonight great setup by Keller put away by Barrett Falco attending it on at that stage Lansdowne blitzing to six points today. And that a fine three-pointer from Jamar Sanders in the second quarter. Mai would get another one as well. Mitchell putting away seven points his total today. Barrett, that three-pointer boosting up towards 11th in the contest. The highest scorer for Falco today. Pearl has got four field goals as well, setting him up to eight points. Stefan Pott with the latest setup for Matt Tybee. He's got seven. Another excellent three point play as well. Tybee with one of those. But my, anything you can do, count me in as well. Keen working hard to set up my keep possession, was off balance a bit, but it was very good legwork. Great switch across, excellent three. Well put home by Jean-Baptiste Mai. And there was a lot going Strasbourg's way by that stage, but Falco with the final few scores, a great surge. They both had a quite a significant pointless period during the contest so far. Keane with a brilliant three-pointer as well. His first score of the second quarter. And it is Marcus Keane, currently top of the scoring charts with 13. for quite a few three-pointers so far. 50% strike rate on everything today. Considering that was uh, an excellent three-point play for his own team, Lassie Turvey was quite agitated. Gorgeous score by Keane. Two three-pointers, one in each quarter. And for Falco, 11 points for Boris Barac. He's only missed one attempt all game. Out of seven. Pot holding it up well. Barrett with that is only three pointers so far, having notched up 11 points 
for Falco. That was still <laughs> it's lovely by Akish Kala. Uh, now you see me, now you don't. Responsible for a lot in the contest so far, Barrett. That was the three body to boost them up to seven. A couple of successful free throws and a two point field goal as well. And it means at the break, it is Zig.
Because it's not only about, it's not critic for the inside, it's critic for outside. I still don't think, you know, our number of, number of steals is very interesting. Oh, I don't remember where we get those two, two steals. Activity, fellas, activity. We gotta have jump more. Two-point lead for Valko Jean Matelli over six Strasbourg at the Reynus Sports. The opening week of action in Group A of this season's Basketball Champions League. A win from Murcia over Topash of Bursa last night by 75 to 72. Took a while to get going, but get going it did in the end. This one certainly has been reasonably high octane for a lot of it. Good competitive contest. And a foul, a push. 
Against Keane, who's kept his nose clean up to that. So that's his first foul of the night. Falco with the two-point advantage. Play back in from the baseline by Stefan Potts. Got it back again, might be tempted about the three. He's got Keane all over him, and not just him, but managed to smuggle it in. And it's there from Akos Keller. A killer of a score from Falco. It's his first of the night, but somehow they smuggled it in. So DeAndre lands down. It's with Matt Mitchell. Prospects and possibilities. Mitchell still going. The shot clock was winding down, but Mitchell was not going to be denied that time. He's up to nine. Two-point game again. Brought through by Pearl. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. And Potts puts out a brilliant three-pointer. Gorgeous one from the corner, which is exactly what Lansdowne's trying to do now. And almost did. Falco with the five-point lead now. They've scored four three-pointers tonight. Well, that would have been so smart for Carlos had been able to work it away, but the angles weren't quite right for him and the balance wasn't there either. And instead, that might be severely punished. <laughs> Foul by Potts, that's his second. <laughs> On to seven points already, and it was a little flick on Jamar Sanders. Alabama, Northwest Florida State, and a UAB in terms of his colleges. So Sanders, four seconds left. It's going to be now. It has to be now. Sanders. Oh, almost a buzzer beater, but he took his sweet time. Massa couldn't do much with the rebound. Falco will come away with it, leading by five. Quick turnover. Here we go. Lands down. Found the road to glory. Good score, DeAndre lands down all the way through, and a bit of a follow up as well. In he went, and down he went, and, but more importantly, in it went. What a brilliant fast break for Strasbourg. In by Stefan Potts again, oh, and out again. That's always a real annoyance when that happens. Falco certainly impressing. Two attempts for Pearl despite the original block, and it was a good one too. But Pearl able to have another pop. And he did. That's not a bad try either from there by Keane. Fabulous three. He's up to 16 tonight. Top score in the entire contest. Bringing Strasbourg to within two. That is their fifth three-pointer of the night. And they are loving it. They are loving it. Short by Cowles. Barrett was in there. Barrett in the right place. Stolen. Gets the two. And that's his first score of the... Second half on the way in, reached the highest point, Master trying to flick away. But the score is good. Alain Le Sig. For Sig Strasbourg. Down by four. Falco performing well at the moment. This is uh, Jamar Sanders. Slipping past Cowles. Cavalier, oh yes!
Leo Cavalier. His first field goal of the night, it was gorgeous. It's quite the 3x3 player as well. France reaching the semi-finals of the World Championship in Antwerp, beaten in the semi-final by Lithuania by one, beat host Belgium by one in the bronze medal match, 18-17 each time. Lovely layup by Leo Cavalier. And he just glided in. What joy. Brown in, pot out for the moment for Falco. Strasbourg trying to get the big leveller up, but not quite. Good cut out by Cowles. Breakers on, Zach Brown. And inside for Akos Keller. Got into the right position well. Four point lead. Falco with the upper hand for now. It's Marcus Keane again. Keane made his way to find Massa yet to score tonight and just went through the hands of Sanders. Not the trajectory he wanted and it didn't work out. Time out. First of the quarter. When do you want to feel comfortable to be aggressive? Because I don't want to play no handball. They guard him, they're switching everything. So somebody else got to be aggressive. That's why I tried to yell that don't pass the ball here. Try to play the ball. Where, where, where can I go? The man is right here, and there's nobody guarding Leo. So what do I want to do? Well, that was a good pass, but before on the one when he did it, Mark was the same thing. You try, but Leo was open on the short row, and you throw it to ball. Now they let him hit the ball and deny him. So you guys can find the three man game. Hey, boy, hey, hey. Don't want to play no handball. There's Lassie Turvey. Big sport here too, though. Well, that turnover by Buddy and Massa, the the pass. Just saw Strasbourg come off the bike. So Falco on the charge for Strasbourg. It's all about defense. Right here, I thought it would have been Defons, but anyway, it's Pal. Didn't put it away though, and the defense of Strasbourg held firm. Taken away by Jamar Sanders. Oh, clever Massa, traveling. Oh well, move was good for a moment. Didn't end up that way. <laughs> Pearl getting it forward. Cowles now through Matthew Tybee. Matt Tybee staying in position, found by uh, Zoltan Pearl again. Cowles. They're running out of time and they know it had to go deep. Wasn't positioned right. Couldn't get the shot away. He's used to life here. He'll know a lot about Strasbourg. He played here for Yer Toulon and for uh, Potier before his season with Lekia Warsaw. Helsinki Seagulls he was with actually two a few years ago. So short for Mitchell. Now up for Jamar Sanders. Good try for three, didn't quite make it. What about this time? Much heavier hit.
heavy landings from Matt Mitchell. Taken up all the way through, brilliantly through by Zach Brown. Nice score by Zach Brown, his first of the half, and he's on to six points, and the lead is three for Falco. That is quite a bang in the face, actually. You can see the mark is still affecting. My good setup. Fine score, Cavalier. Five points for him now. Four point game. Cowles. Stefan Potter support from Tybee alongside. Might need anybody. Went for the shot, was running out of time. Quick reset, Strasbourg on the way, Cavalier on the way, inside the paint, Okoye's there. Held up. Good chance from the free throw line now. Kravatovic now on three fouls. Just like Keller. So again, has to be aware a little bit. Well, his only points so far have come from the free throw line. It stays that way, but at least he has one more now. And that can be two. So he scored four. Brings it down to a two point game again. And that might be a zero point game now. Sent flying into the photographers with Jean-Baptiste May. Falco have used up all their fouls in this quarter. May on the way through, alongside M. Pot. Enough of a bump, Pot with the foul. This could be the moment it gets tied up and it could be worse for Stefan Pot. They may be considering unsportsmanlike. Potts himself is now on three fouls, so they've got three on three. That looked a hand-knitted Strasbourg scarf. How valuable. And how valuable that would have been from Jean-Baptiste Mai, just unraveled. Yep, he's got that one. By up to six points. They're loving their Wednesday night in the basketball, no doubt about a big chat between Lassi Tovey, Frank Kuhn and Roman Lois. The three wise men of Strasbourg, just beyond the coy, almost ended up in the front row, went beyond the front row. One point game, Falco hanging on. Just couldn't quite reach it. Stanakoy. So Stefan Pot again made his way into the paint. It's still Reese Cowles. Couldn't put it away for three. And then Cowles down. Just as Strasbourg were making their way away, Jean Baptiste Mai made the defensive rebound. And then Cowles hitting the deck. Cowles foul. His second. Some Matelli using up all the fouls, so straight to the free throw line. It's like that for the final 2 0 8. Ties it up, does 
Mal. Take Strasbourg in front for the first time in this quarter, for the first time since early in the second quarter. Sides level for a fifth time a few moments ago, but not for long. Played short for Zoltan Pearl. Looking for the opening, looking for support behind him. Might come from Kravacevic. Pearl is in for Raymond Cowles for the moment. <laughs> Fouled by Matt Mitchell. <laughs> His second. <laughs> and missed by Kravacevic. Hit refused to drop. So this would be the leveller. Oh, it's not. But a very good offensive rebound by Zach Brown. Got it back for Stefan Potts. Strasbourg, one of five teams who have taken part in all seven editions of the Basketball Champions League, lost by Potts. Now, here comes the break, led by Akaye! No! Fantastically won back by Cavalier. That was tremendously done. Well, they have 10 seconds left on the shot clock now. Excellent steal by Cavalier. And out. Shazberg, Ayak, Estenna, Aaron Nimbuk, Tenerife, the others to have been in every single season and Strasbourg have won the first game of the season and five of their previous six campaigns. What does that mean for tonight? Absolutely nothing, but they are leading this by a point. 79 seconds to go. It was Lucas Beaufort, it was out of bounds. And Falco, Zombatelli possession. Little whisper of advice. Akos Keller is in and Marko Krivacevic is out for the moment. Zoltan Pearl taking his time, looking for a bit of guidance. 60 to go in this quarter. Pearl is in, but he couldn't put it away on either occasion. Mai to bring it away for Singh. Up for uh, Beaufort. Jean Baptiste Mai again. And how is it opening up for Stan Akoy? He's got a chance to get in towards the paint. And Cavalier, and there's only two seconds to go! Decent chance at a three by Mitchell, but he couldn't put it home. 30 seconds remaining in the quarter. Strasbourg hanging on by that lone single solitary for them, glorious point. Strasbourg having it on the Falco baseline. Mitchell will have a go. And it's a beauty. Matt Mitchell. He hits double figures for the night as well. 11.16 for Keane. Falco with time running out in terms of this quarter. Shot's going to come now. Held up well. Potts. Strasbourg still had a foul to use, and Cavalier used it. That's his third. Cavalier often beat it on for now. Pearl! No. Couldn't get it in right on the buzzer. That would have tied it up going into the final quarter. 
decent try. Avoid 10 minutes ago, six Strasbourg, 56, Falco, Schumatelli, 53. Tight on the percentages, showing just how tight a game has been. And the best plays in this third quarter with the right atmospheric backdrop as well. Matt Mitchell putting home. Lovely, gorgeous score as well. Turning, twisting, and putting in. This lovely three-pointer, Falco scoring early in that quarter from Stefan Pott. Lands down. Forcing in and then gliding out. That from Marcus Keane up to 16 points now in the contest. Looked around, so if there was any better option and there wasn't, went for it directly and scored it. And that up by Cavalier. Five points he's got, four coming in that third quarter alone. In by Akash Keller, he's up to seven points, couple of field goals, couple of twos in that quarter as well, and that was the second of them. Zach Brown coming through for one as well. Dangerous work being a cameraman at times. Cavalier, that was just gorgeous. He's having a cracking game in his own right. Under 21, Championship Player of the Year back in 2014. A few league successes since then, and in that three by three. 3x3 World Cup run. Final quarter coming. So this is it, Stefan Pott. Brown, Tybee, Keller, Pott and Bell. On court for Falco. Both for my Massa Mitchell and Okoye for Strasbourg. Here's Tybee, got it across, setting up a three. Oh, fantastic to tie it up right at the start of the final quarter from Stefan Bott. Brilliant score. It's the sixth time the sides have been level. It is a fifth three-pointer. And Stefan Pott was the right man in the right place. <laughs> Foul by Matt Tybee. He's not had many in the game. That's his very first. Couple in foul trouble. Well, three. Keller, Pott, and Krivacevic were on three. And from a Strasbourg point of view, Cavalier is also now on three. So Jean-Baptiste May to restart. All square again with nine minutes to go. Well poised, here's Mitchell! Not level anymore, Strasbourg in front, Matt Mitchell! 13 points tonight. Good encounter for Strasbourg. Pot setting it up and absolutely nailed for a brilliant three from number three, Zach Brown. Falco ahead again. And their first two scores of the quarter have been three-pointers. It is perfect timing. Meanwhile, Tybee whistled up again. Happening off the ball, little jostle between him and Mitchell. That'll be a second foul against him. Drawn by Matt Mitchell. Falco leading by one point. Keen to send it back in again. DeAndre Lansdowne going all the way and Strasbourg in front. Oh, what a contest this is. Lead flicking one way, then the next, twos and threes. 
all coming through in the first four scores of this final quarter. Switch back quickly, Keller receiving from Pearl, and Keller putting it in, and now it's Falco's turn to lead. Gorgeous by Keller, nine points for him tonight. Not a single miss yet in this quarter, and it stays that way from Keane, and he's drawn the foul, and a chance for one extra, and Strasbourg are ahead again. Well, game on. Keane's reaction did not impress the head referee, Manuel Mazzoni. He scores, and it's party time. And quite a few times tonight, it's been polka party time. Scores, draws the foul, it came off Zach Brown, and that was Brown's second. So, from the free throw line, Keen for 19 points. And a two-point lead. Sixty-three plays, sixty-one. Nineteen for him, thirteen for Mitchell, ten for Lansdowne. Falco have seen thirteen for Barrett, ten each for Pearl and Pot. That one's against Massa. His third foul tonight. So now he's a little bit of foul trouble. On by Akush Keller. Short for Zoltan Powell. Now it's Pot. Chance on the turn, chance for three. It's on the way from Brown. And it's in from Brown. And Falco are in front again. Seven three pointers tonight. They've led three different times in this quarter. Strasbourg, twice. Zoltan Pearl with the foul. And that, I make it his first tonight. He's been looking after himself. But suddenly, with seven and a half minutes to go, Falco have got no fouls left. That first attempt from Lansdowne from the free throw line missed, astonishingly. So Lansdowne going again, and that's 11 for Lansdowne for tonight. Sides level for a seventh time. Second time in this final quarter. Falco ahead again to silence the arena. Brilliant. Keller in. Keller scoring. And Falco are ahead again. 66 64. Both are going for three. I think that must be the first miss in this final quarter. It's been brilliant. Four times in this quarter, they've led Falco. Four times for Strasbourg. And we've been leveled twice. What a contest. Falco are putting up a much better display themselves than the last two games. They lost by 12 here in the round of 16 last year and then lost at home by 22, which would have been towards the end of the group and their hopes fading. Foul by May. That is his second. So, Zach Brown laying it up short. This is Pearl back for Brown. Pearl again. 
And nice little setup, good score. Keller keeps popping up in the right place at this time of the game. Scored 13 points now and six in the final quarter. It's only been one miss, all told, in this quarter. Top quality stuff. Out by May, here's a chance for Lansdowne. Lansdowne going for it, scoring and drawing the foul. That could be very valuable. It's a good long spell of a lead for Falco this time, but Lansdowne has cut two points off it and maybe another one to follow. Zoltan Pearl with his second foul. They've used all their fouls up. Strasbourg of one yet left, left. Lansdowne from the free throw line. Six fifteen to go. Lansdowne made it. Fourteen points for DeAndre Lansdowne. It's game on. It's always been game on in this. Largest gap was nine points. That six Strasbourg led by early in the second quarter. Most of Falco led by was four. It'll rebound towards Brown and time has run out on Falco this time. Clock ran out. Falco 46% in their shooting, 26 out of 56. And for Strasbourg, 45%, 23 out of 51 in terms of the field goals. They've had 22 free throws, got 16. Falco have scored nine out of 12. It's an amazing amount that Strasbourg have won tonight. And they will be winning more. There'll be 40 more fouls in the next five and a half minutes, without doubt. Here goes Keane, making his way through. Oh, stopped by Brown. Arm out. Watched all the way, great rejection. Blocked the shot to Brown. Back in, short one, lands down for the lead. Strasbourg are back in front again, and Lansdowne's got 16 points. It's the fifth time they have led in this quarter. Maybe not for long, Falco on the way again, and what a block by Mitchell! Rejections all over the place. Rejections than blind date. Boris Baric to put it back in. Played it out long. Akush Keller, short for Stefan Pott. Chance for three. Worth the aim by Zoltan Pearl. Just couldn't put it home. Strasbourg maintaining the lead by a point with 5.03 to go. Timeout called. Time for a breather for everybody, except the coaches, of course.
Lansan swivelling and scoring brilliantly. Under time pressure. Glance shot scored without much time for the glance. Strasbourg lead by one, a match which has been pivoting on an axle all game. One point clear of Falco with 4.54 to go. We've had some prime entertainment in the first week back of the Basketball Champions League, and there may be more on the way here. A chance for three, missed by Mitchell. Fine set up by Lansdowne, he's got another pop at it, and Lansdowne knows the road to glory. It's another two points, it's 18 for him, and the lead's increasing all the time for Strasbourg. 71 to 68. The fifth time they've led in this final quarter. Falco four times. Here's Pearl. That could go anywhere. Grabbed back by Lansdowne. Here comes the quick break for Strasbourg. Held up by Keane, so not so quick. Going to wind down the clock a bit. Biders options. Keane still going. Knew the way to the target, but just couldn't force it in. Big let off for Falco. The champions of Hungary for a fourth time. Their first two in a row achieved. Strasbourg beaten in the French Cup final by Poe Ortez by 95 points to 86. Monaco beating them 2 to 1 in the quarter final playoffs of the French League, the Ligue Nationale. The basket. Brown off for now. Pot through the foul off Marcus Keane, and that's Keane's second. Jamar Sanders is in for Strasbourg. Keane now out. Brown out, replaced by Cowles for Falco Schombatelli, who haven't scored in bang on three minutes now. Here's Pearl. Found by Barrett. Barrett's looking, finding Pearl. Shot's going to have to come down. It did it. A quick steal. Here comes Mai. Not in. Gathered by Cowles. Forward for Pearl. Falco have escaped a few times here. No doubt about it. Here's Pearl again. Up for Potts. Barrett held up and more bodies on the deck than Kill Bill, but not that Kill Bill. Barrett running into Mitchell, <laughs> really, that's worth a conflap. They've given the foul against Mitchell, but they're going to review it. Boris Barrett's joined the foul. If it is going to stick with Mitchell, it's his third foul. Cowell sent flying too.
suite à l'arbitrage vidéo, la décision est maintenue, faute défensive. Well, they're sticking with the original decision, so it's Mitchell who has been whistled up for that, and it is his third foul. And it will be two attempts on the free throw line for Boris Baric. Thirteen points so far tonight, but nothing in the final quarter. Let's put that to rights. Got them both, needed to get them both. 3.08 to go, one point between them again. Turning into the longest lead that Salzburg have had in the final quarter. Might it get better? Lansdowne, stepping out. Short for uh, Mai, but Mai Mai, it's not gone right for them. Quickly taken away, Barrage. now it's Stefan Pot. 2.35 to go. Only a point between them. Barrage trying to make his place. They've used up all their fouls, obviously. Here's Cowles. Quick steal! Lands down! He's made it! Three-point lead! He's hit 20 for the night. And he scored 12 points in the final quarter. Talk about delivering at the right time. That man definitely has. Falco up against it. But this can level it from Keller. Just missed out the three-point play. Regained by Mitchell. And Strasbourg can come away. 100 seconds to go. And they'll wind it down as much as they can. Mai made his way away well. Mitchell, clever, lands down, chance, in! Sanders! Brilliant three-pointer by Jamar Sanders! In the final, final knockings of the game to make it a six-point match! The first three-pointer in ages, and yet, how invaluable! They lead by six with 92 seconds to go. Hey, we are here, we are here, hey. Stefan, Stefan, take the ball. A game that's been on fire itself, but Strasbourg particularly in this final quarter, they scored 20 points. Falco, 17. What an encounter. A lot tighter than each of last season's two big battles in the last 16. And what a whip away with 79 seconds to go. Mai was up there. On the rebound, little flick out. And smacked away by Mitchell. <laughs> Stefan is going to pop, he's out. Brown back on. Remember, every single game live in the Basketball Champions League this season.
So, Pal, they need to get this at the very least. Fabulous. Cowles, three. Important three by Cowles. Doubles his score for the night. Their eighth three-pointer. A minute to go. Can uh, Falco keep Strasbourg at bay? They cannot! And neither can they keep Mitchell quiet. He's up to 15 points tonight. What a game. Five between them. Strasbourg won by 12 here last season and 22 in Hungary. But that was right towards the end of the group. And time was running out for Falco. Time tonight is running out for Falco. Just missed by Barrett. Mai with the foul. Barrett drawing it whilst that was going through. He's on three fouls now, Mai. Barrett, five between them. He's got 15 points tonight. Biggie, got it. Five from six from the free throw line now. And this to make it a three point game again. Boris Baric from Croatia, the six time league winner. And he's got that as well. It's still open. 45 seconds to go. Here's Keane. Marcus Keane holding it up. Trying to run a bit of the clock down, holding off Brown. Ten seconds left on the shot clock, lands down, bit of double teaming going on. Still Keane leading the way. Four seconds, shot prepared. This for three. Big moment, didn't get it. Big, big rebound. And that is going Strasbourg's way. Off Barrett. There's a significant one. Up, claiming, and then just run off and by Lansdowne, and off Barrett's last, and it is a Strasbourg return. Timeout called by Sieg as well. One day that mascot is going to have someone's eye out. So three between them, 23 seconds to go. Recovered well by Matt Mitchell. Mitchell, 20 seconds to go, held up. <laughs> Keller's on four now. <laughs> so from the free throw line, Mitchell can put it almost beyond sight. 15 points already, that was a big one. Four between them. Yeah. 
Mitchell nailed it. Two out of two that time. He's on 17 points, a valuable return. It's a five-point game with 18 seconds to go. Falco with the timeout. Wonder if she does requests for scarves. Strasbourg in front by five. Falco can still get out of this. What escape plan have they worked out? So Potter put it back in. Good quick setup with Keller. And inside towards Pearl going for three and he's got it. And now a quick foul to stop it if they can. 13 points for Pearl, two point game. Stop it with 9.8 to go. Keen on the charge. Brilliant three pointer by Stefan Pott. Needed that, otherwise they could have said goodnight, Vienna. So to the free throw line. And Keane has to make it. Try and slam the door on Falco. He drew the foul. It was against Cowles, by the way. Oh, that's valuable. That is invaluable. Keane now on 20 points tonight. Three-point game. This for four. No! And now here come Falco trying to force overtime. Six seconds remaining. Brought up towards Pearl. Pearl for three. No! And claimed by Mitchell. And Strasbourg do it again against Falco. Three games, three wins in this calendar year. But that was the tightest and the toughest one of the lot. Lassie. Two of these men have just crept over the line. They led for a lot of the final quarter. So tight. Strasbourg 81. Falco. Giovatelli 78. What a game. So six Strasbourg for the fifth season out of six. Win their opener in the Basketball Champions League. Having featured in every single competition to date. Well, Pearl right at the end, needed that to go in, and this time it refused. Having got one moments earlier, finishing on 13 points, and the agony that it would not drop. Falco reached the last 16 group stage last season. Strasbourg got out of it, got to the quarterfinals, but beaten by Hapoel Holok. Falco, well, it's a long road. But certainly in terms of their games against Strasbourg, they seem improved. But that will be a very good notch up for Sig to start their European season. They've only won one of their first three domestically. They're away to Cholet at the weekend. Next week, next Wednesday, they're at home to Tofash of Bursa. That'll be fun. Then the Moj at home, Graveline away domestically before going to Murthia, who had a very tight win last night.
good percentage for Strasbourg at least in terms of the two pointers above the 50. So many free throws for Strasbourg tonight, 26 in total. They scored 19 and they rebounded slightly better as well. Strasbourg get the victory. Two points to the table for them, one for Falco. 20 points for Keane, 20 for Lansdowne, 17 for Mitchell. And there were the only three to get into double figures tonight for Sean Bertelli, it was 17 for Baric. The plays of the second half. And Matt Mitchell responsible for quite a few of those, finishing with 17 tonight. It was nine three-pointers for Falco in the end and six for six Strasbourg. Well nailed by Marcus Keane. His only three-pointer of the second half, he had got two in the first. Keller finishing with 13, he scored 10 points in the second half and a real moment of flight. That brought Falco a few more scores and what a night for Cavalier. Really good third quarter, he scored a couple of baskets in that to go up to five points tonight. Mitchell kept delivering. Brown with a couple of three-pointers in the second quarter. They came quite a lot. Pot got one, Pearl got one, they got... It was five three-pointers in the final quarter. This is the one from Keller. But Keane, who had a brilliant scoring run at the start, continuing in the final quarter, along with that three-pointer in the third quarter. Gorgeous one from the corner, sent in by Brown. That was the second one of the quarter. Keller making sure that wasn't coming back out. Bang! Have a bit of that. And Falco with that last gas three-point play away in the final seconds from forcing overtime. Lansdowne had a great run of it. 12 points in the final quarter. Five baskets and a couple of successful ones from the free throw line as well. But how about that for a stop by Mitchell? That was vital towards the end. Matt Mitchell's big rejection. And then Matt Mitchell's great attempt that Lansdowne finally got through in the rebound. A lot went Strasbourg's way in that final quarter. That was the breakaway dunk from Lansdowne. Cowles with a brilliant fadeaway three. But Mitchell was hitting all the numbers. So Strasbourg beat Falco again, but this time only by three points to get their basketball Champions League campaign for 2023 off to a winning start. A brilliant first week. We've only got a full season to go. Catch us again next week. Every game live. Strasbourg won this one. Same magnifique. Ha! <laughs>